Hey gamers, it's Grind This Game here, back with Oxygen Not Included. And I've created a hybrid. Look at this. It's a glossy Draco regular Draco hybrid. Cool, check it out. Oh, okay, never mind. I didn't do that. Uh, I got a bunch of stuff I want to do this episode. A lot of it's like cleanup kind of stuff. I'll give you the brief overview. Uh, I gotta fix my kind of overflow things here. I noticed that I have auto wrangle set up on the wrong things. This one has no auto wrangle, so I'm gonna do auto wrangle at six. Uh, but before I get into this, there's some other stuff I wanna do this episode. I wanna get uh, pips in parks. I wanna get my O2, my cold O2 and hot O2 sorted out. I wanna get the bedrooms done. I want to fix my storage situation. I want to get exosuits up near space. I'm going to be making steel. And I want to get some showers in. Lots of stuff to do. Okay, so let's fix this first. So that's right. Auto wrangle. This one here. Auto wrangle at five is probably okay. But this one here, this is supposed to be the overflow room. And I have this set to auto wrangle. That is wrong. And I think I did that because I copied something. So this is going to be the killing floor. Um, and then everything extra. Yeah, extra Drekos, extra hatches are going to end up in here. Let's make sure that's set right. Yeah. These guys are cramped. Probably because they had nowhere to go before, but now, they, now they'll get put in here. So it should be okay. Okay, so let's speed things up. And I've never used this incubator. I'm gonna get, I oh, will just leave it un, un, unhooked up. Yeah, we gotta get a lot of Drekos out of here. I guess we could just get rid of them the old fashioned way before we move them. It's probably quicker. Let's take the ones that are shaved. And this guy. Now I never set up a plastic maker here, just because we got so much plastic from the Drekos. And I don't really have that much room left in here. We could extend this power room to the left. I feel like I'm not going full speed, but I guess I am. Okay, so that's, I think that's sorted out. The overflow room looks very overflowed now. So the bedrooms. Uh, this was in my way last time. Once they wake up, I'm going to retire this bedroom. And I think I'll put showers in here. Oh, that reminds me. We have one dupe series who's on the rest break. He belongs up here. He was on the rest break because he was all stressed out. But now he can, he can go back to work. And we're going to take some beds out here. And I think I have to take out my crown molding to fit the showers in. So these will be the new upgraded bedrooms. Six Room for 16. We have 16 dupes. I think I'll stick with 16 dupes. And I'm going to take this valve out. Deconstruct that. Yeah, and then we'll put a bridge on there, just to drain that pipe. Actually, it looks like it's draining anyway. Maybe. I'm gonna stick one on there anyway, just in case. And then, let's see, we can take that pipe out, and we'll drain this pipe with a plumber. Actually, I'm going to put that pipe back in later, I think. So we'll leave that. We got a decent amount of food, so I'm not too concerned about the food running out just yet. So bedroom there. And we got to take this out. And showers. Let's see. Plumbing. I totally forgot about the showers. I don't know why. Can we fit? No, we have to take out the crown molding. That's okay. The statues will give lots of decor. 
And I only really need four because I have four dupes per shift, but I'm going to put five in here. And I think I'll extend this pipe around this way. Kind of feed these showers through the bottom. And then the dirty water will go up here. Go this way and feed back into this tank here. And I, th I think that'll work. Priority seven. I want this done fairly soon. And I gotta make sure they don't... Oh, that's the bathroom. Gotta make sure they don't exit out this door here. They gotta go... They gotta go from right to left. Once this... Yeah, once this pipe drains, I will replace my valve, I think, right... Maybe over here, right at... Yeah, right at the source. Or not the source, but the consumer. So looking at my list, we got the Draco thing done. Pips in parks. Okay, let's finish the bedroom. Someone's without a bed at the moment, I think. Actually, there's a bed down here. We'll retire this little bedroom down here. Yeah, that looks good. How's decor in here? Pretty crappy over here. And they are kind of walking through here once in a while. Let's put some statues in here. And here. Once we have tons of reed fiber, I think I'll do paintings in here instead of crown molding, but for now I think it's okay. And I was moving all my storage over. I'm going to make a little storage room. Uh, let's see. This is going to mean that we have uneven floors. I don't really like that, so maybe we'll just go down here. I've been toying with the idea of doing an infinite storage room. Where you just use a conveyor belt and just drop everything into like a one tile hole, essentially. I don't know if it performs better. Yeah, I'm not quite sure about the performance. I guess I could dig out this height like this. We got our we were really lucky and we got these Paku last episode. There's some ice in here that's about to melt. Minus twelve. I got the suggestion of putting an automated door here. Out of steel. To basically control the door. So if this water fills up, we uh, shut this off. That was a good idea. I'm going to do that. So put a hydro sensor. I guess right, right here. That's low enough. And we'll hook that up to this. Oh, that dupe's gonna burn. E. Careful. Okay, I think he's safe. Or she. Okay, so we got that. Oh, I wanted to make a bit more ceramic. Do that. This wasn't on my list of to-dos, but down here... We got this, and this was never built because they can't get in, because right here is not good. I'm gonna dig that out, I think. And then yeah, put some ceramic in here, because I don't want I don't want this. Oh, it plugged itself, that's good. How hot is this uh copper? 400 degrees. I was gonna use this to make steam. At some point. Okay, we can put ceramic in here, I think, if I've got any. We've got not too much of it. <laughs> and should I mop this up? Kind of don't want them walking through this, but... We could make a little ladder system for them. Whatever, they can, they can 
get their feet wet a little bit. It'll be okay. So pips in parks. We got one pip in this little park. Uh, I don't have a pip in here. So I'm going to do a critter drop off. Right there. I just want to keep them happy. And we'll grab this little guy. Actually, he's got a tree to eat. We could make a little tree area in here too. Got a little bit more room for storage here. Do that, and do that. And instead of having, some people say like, if you have one item per container, it's better. Uh, that could be true. It might be true, it makes sense because there's fewer piles that they have to do the calculations on. So I might change that up at some point. Well, once we get the storage all in one place, we can kind of re rejigger things. It's really easy for them to move stuff around once it's all close. Okay, we got that hip. Is kind of oh he he was living in here, but he'll he'll come around. There was a whole bunch of other ones. I remember there being three or four in here. I don't know where they went. Draco, you don't belong there. Yeah, where did all my pips go? There was three in this hallway. Maybe they expired due to old age. There's one over here. Okay, we'll get a pip in this park at some future time, I guess. Let's make sure the showers are working here. Uh, I don't think I hooked them completely up. Oh yeah, I did. Shower. Let's say lavatories are ready. Shower. They should work. They don't say any. No air. Okay, here we go. Shower is showering is happening. <laughs> And let's clean this area up a bit. Yeah, it's looking a bit better. More puffs. Prince puff. Okay. Time for some barbecue. Oh, we're going to wait until they go to sleep. Before we get them. Cramped. Still cramped in here. Too many eggs. Maybe I'll set this to four. Okay, they've gone to sleep. Now we can get them. We can get them. Get them while they're sleeping. A great barbecue of cycle 342. Oh, okay. The final death cry. How are we doing in here? 63 degrees. That's a little bit warm. But it should be okay. The CO2 is sucking up all the heat. And it's going off into space. Getting a little bit of uh, pitch pepper up there. Oh yeah, my water line. I gotta rehook that up. Now that we... Uh, do that. I'm going to do a valve right here instead. I realize I don't really have a ladder in between these area, this area, but so I'll have to go around. Hmm. I didn't really leave room for uh, a ladder in between. That's 24 wide. Yeah, that's kind of an oversight. I'll have to live with it, I guess. We can't really move everything over one. <laughs> it would be way too big of a project. Okay, valve time. Uh, make the valve. 
We'll do it right here. Make sure it's insulated. And then we gotta hook the pipe back up. Kinda don't like it going straight through the bedroom like this. So maybe I'll go that way. Oh yeah, my oxygen problem. That's the only thing I wanted to get sorted out. So we're sending... I was doing some kind of natural cooling in these cooling loops here. It's not really helping too much anymore because this area's warmed up. It's, it's still going a little bit, so we'll, we'll leave that for a bit. But we don't really need to cool it because these could go all the way to... They're going to exosuits. Some of it's going to the base, which I don't want. I don't want any kind of warm oxygen going to the base anymore. So I'm going to cut this off right there. Once I get around to it. Okay, I think... Oh, there we go. Okay, so that's going to be all for exosuits. And I'm going to stop using my cold oxygen right here for exosuits. So only hot oxygen will go to the exosuits right there. So that's good. That's coming in at 35 degrees. Perfect. And there's no real reason to cool it at all. So this cooling loop can go. And we're just heating up the surrounding area. So that goes out there. And then let's just do... That's the simplest thing we could do here. That's coming around there. This is going to be a bit ugly, but we're going to do that, and then we can disconnect that, disconnect that. And then retire all these pipes here. Or we could do something really cheeky and have this continue to cool the area, but it's not, it's not necessary. So I'm gonna get I'm gonna get rid of this. I like to clean up after myself a little bit. Otherwise things just get messy and probably slows things down. Even though I've got crap everywhere here, wires and miscellaneous things. <laughs> Do some low priority sweeping here. Okay, so that's cold oxygen is coming to the base. It's kind of backing up. Hot oxygen is going to the suits. So I was sending some hot oxygen up here for suits, so I gotta reconnect that. And I think I'll take all of this out. Actually, we... Hmm. Yeah, I think that's okay. This can go. And we'll just reuse this pipe here. For the rest of the base here. So I think that will be much better. Once we hook it up. So hot oxygen can go, any extra can go out this way. Because they don't care how, how hot the oxygen in the suit is. Come on. What priority did I do that? Seven. Okay, that looks better. I'm happier with that. This little kink in the line I don't like. Fix that. And actually, we could use this for cooling. Yes, we could use this for cooling. Just realized. 
We could... Yeah. Well, I've already got a cooling loop here. Getting all sorts of crap in here. But yeah, we could use this oxygen line. We're basically heat... We could heat up the oxygen before we put it in the suits. Hmm. It is kind of being done right here anyway. Actually, let's just upgrade that pipe. We're going to do radiant gas pipe along here. That'll suck up some heat before it goes into the suits. And then we want to make sure it's insulated from here to here. Okay, that'll help a little bit. How much steel do we have? 4,600. We're working, working our way through the, the steel. I'm never going to incubate these, so I'm going to get rid of that. These guys are still cramped. Call the herd a bit. Ooh. Now are they crowded? No. This mess all. I want to make this all look tidier. It's kind of gross right now. If we could do a statue every three. That would help a little bit. Make it look nicer. Okay, we got no oxygen coming in. That is not good. I think I ran out of salt water down here. <laughs> yes, out of salt water. So my plan here was to replace the desalinator and bring this polluted water down and put it through a sieve. So we need a water sieve right here where this thing was. Put water in. Clean water out. This pipe can be retired. And the pump can go. Yeah, 101 fixes I wanted to do just to get things running a bit smoother. Oh, there's Pip in here. Let's get him. He doesn't belong there. Oh, actually, I probably put him there on purpose, but... You know what? We're gonna let him try to plant more water weed in here. What is drowning here? Water weed is down there. Okay. I'm trying to mop a little bit of that, but not too much. I kind of don't want this guy to escape. Maybe I'll put some doors in here. Actually, we'll leave it. We'll leave it. I don't think he'll run away. New printables. Hatchling or thimble reed? Oh, thimble reed seed. What? We got some! Okay, this is a major breakthrough. This is a major breakthrough, because now we can just grow thimble reed. Beautiful. It eats polluted water like crazy. But, uh, it's a wonderful, it's a wonderful thing. Okay, I gotta hook up my water here. For my plants. Oh, oh, a little bit slow. Okay, this water is at 33 degrees, so this room over here is going to get a little bit too warm over time. So, what we could do is send some of that cold oxygen through there, but I think I'll just put a wheeze ward in here. Kind of near the center. I'm going to uproot this one here. And hopefully I can stick a wheeze ward in there and it won't actually block my water line. If not, we can just put it on top, maybe? Okay, wheeze ward. We don't have any wheat seeds. I had one over here I can get rid of. This one can go. It's nice and cold here. We'll uproot that. And is our water flowing again? Yep, that's good. We don't want to use too much of it. So I'm going to set this to like 400 grams per second. Okay. 
And Wee's Wart will stick right here. Keep this area cool. Okay, wow, we got a lot of natural gas in here. So far, everything seems to be okay. Find another deodorizer there. Go. Dig that out a little bit. And that wire is no longer used. Okay, upstairs, up here. I need some exosuit docks. Yeah, I've been trying to figure out where I want them. I want them to get in the exosuits kind of at the last minute. Because otherwise they can just roam around free in here in this oxygen. It's a lot easier on them. But I think maybe here would be a good place for exosuits. I'm going to need a whole bunch of them. I got to figure out where I want to where I want to do this. Hmm. I could have the exosuits go this way and then wrap around, but I got to clear out this water. without having any spillage. Yeah, so we'll get that done. There's no air in here for them to breathe, but hopefully they can survive. And later on, I'm going to put a tube up here so they can get around faster. Oh, nosh bean. Beautiful. It's cold enough there. Okay. We're going to lose a little puff of oxygen each time they open up this door. But that's actually not terrible. Because then, then they can breathe in here at least. Yeah, so I'm going this way because I want to drain this water. Without causing a spill spillover. Actually, because this is one tile wide here, I think it's actually not flowing that well outside, which is good. Actually, it's going down. Never mind. <laughs> it's moving. So we're going to waste a little bit each time that door gets opened. We kind of need some power up here. I think I might open this up a bit in here. Put some power in here. Or in here. Yeah, maybe right here. We can put a powered door. Okay, now over here. I want this water to drain down. And we'll make a big collection area across here, I think, without digging those up. And hopefully they can get in there without suffocating and stuff. Should be room for everything. It will go even more over this way. See what we can see. Oh, is there space exposure here? Got to make sure we're not opening up a vacuum. Insufficient oxygen generation. I think... Let's just pause here, because I want to make sure everything is hooked up here and working. Okay, that's flowing. That's good. Probably need a compost right beside this. Or close by. Ideally, it would be right beside here, but I'm kind of out of room. I'll just stick it here for now. Yeah, they're coming down here and grabbing little bits of sleet wheat. I think what I'll do is put a door here and control the flow of dupes. We'll, we'll let them go in once in a while. Grab all this stuff. Oh, there's a ton of food in here. Okay. 
Yeah, we'll block them for like, I don't know, 50 cycles, then we'll let them in. We can grab it all. We'll maybe sweep it up. But for now, we'll let, make it so they can only leave. Can't go in. Okay, so we restored the cold oxygen flow. Somewhat. And where is this water, water coming from? This is from our power plant. It's coming out at 20 degrees. It's nice and cool, but eventually it should heat up in here. It's only cool because of this area. Eventually this water will be warm and we might have to insulate this pipe a bit. Okay, no one ever delivered the Weaselwort. Pretty sure I said plant, but maybe not. Oh, this guy, is he gonna plant some crystal blossom in the ground for us? No. Uh, let's turn blossom seeds off here. And maybe he'll grab them all. And plant them. Get that, eat that. Come on. Maybe he needs a tree to make him happy. We have 325,000? Holy crap, how did that happen? All the tofu, maybe? Wow. Okay, I'm gonna retire all this mealwood. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna remove the tiles completely. How much teal do we have? Five tons. Okay, the natural gas is not flowing. Oh, it will once it backs up. Okay, that's fine. Tofu! Is that powered? Yeah. <laughs> it's got a lot of food poisoning in it. Nasty. Hmm. That is a lot of food poisoning. I haven't seen them get sick though. Oh, they're using crappy, disgusting water. That's the problem. Yeah. <laughs> I think they're getting their water from up here. Which is actually clean. Hmm. They could be getting dirty on the compost somewhere. Oh, look at this. Okay, Mr. Puffed, I do not want you in here. And we got a lot of rotten food in here. Tofu. They must use some disgusting toilet water. So we're gonna actually, are we gonna let them eat that? I don't think we should. Tofu, 72,000 germs. Uh, we'll let them eat it. Actually, it's only 12 kilograms. Let's compost it. We got a lot of food. If there's any compost room. What other germs do we have in here? Yeah, everything's kind of germy. Hmm. I do have a hand thing here, but if two of them go in at once, they're gonna they're gonna have issues. Okay, who do we have here? Another shovel or sand? I think I'm gonna get the shovel and. Turn him into barbecue right away. Okay, I think even the babies are worth 16,000. Yeah, look at that. Wow. And I noticed I have another mushroom here. I'm gonna plant that somewhere here. Maybe... Maybe we'll put it up over here. Oh, it has to be in CO2. Ah, uh, well, we'll just save it for now. Food is not the issue. I don't know if this is the best place for my food. Gas range. It's close to the gas, but it's kind of far away from everything else.
Try to make sure this tofu is not getting all disgusting. Oh, that seems fine. I think they picked up some nasty water somewhere. That was the problem. Okay, we're not making not making enough oxygen now. Oh, geez. Okay. So some of this hot oxygen is all backing up. So uh, I think I'm going to have to use a little bit of it. 38 degrees, that's not ideal. Hmm. Yeah, we don't have enough oxygen coming in. Thirty-three degrees. I'm gonna branch off this pipe. That doesn't need to be insulated. We're just gonna use regular granite. I'm gonna dump some right here. It's gonna potentially be warm ish. But we kind of need oxygen, and I'm probably leaking air out of the base now. Yeah, all the way up here. I had an airlock here before. I'm going to stick it back in. Right here. That was just to get oxygen in here, and now we've got tons of it in this tunnel. Oh, he's mad, and he's out. He's angry. I don't think they're gonna encounter him. Oh, this is pressurized now, that's good. I was waiting for this to get pressurized before I went in there. So we'll do a liquid lockup in here. Gotta make sure this is low priority here. Okay, natural gas. How much are we getting? 167, well oh, that's, oh, this is actually not a great one, 643. But we'll go in there, we'll get it. Just do a liquid lock right here, I guess. That. I know there's I know there's better designs for this thing than, than what I've just made, but I kinda like this one. Do that, and that. And we'll get her done. Then we can tap all this. Uh, they can't get in there. But this guy's gonna fight them. I love the way they climb ladders on full speed. Uh oh, it's hot in here. And I gotta give them some more air to breathe here. So happy, clapping their hands. Okay, let's get some water in here. Water. Able auto bottle. Then we can burst in here. And we're gonna have to kind of get some energy up here to get the pump going once we get it in there. Could use a bit of this hydrogen, but probably easier to use coal long term. Okay, so coal generator. I guess we'll just stick it right here. Smart battery. Oops. Regular wire should be fine. Automation wire we want.
Got 11 tons of coal. Now that I fixed the hatch overcrowded problem, I think coal will be less of an issue. I like using coal for this kind of remote power. We could burn off this hydrogen as well. Maybe make a little place for it to go. Actually, I'm going to put my battery over one so I can make a ladder up there. Oh, they're, they're burning. I can hear their cries. Okay, I haven't looked at skills in probably like 100 cycles. Uh, yeah, maybe we should allocate some skills. Six points not used. <laughs> okay, what should, what should we do? Maybe some ranchers. Got lots of critters. And... Proof construction. Oh, digging is always good too, but that should be good for now. Digging, digging, digging. And... Operating. We can always strip their skills later. More ranching. Okay. Lots of ranching and digging and constructing and farming and... This should actually help quite a bit. I don't know why I didn't do it earlier. Just laziness. Yeah, once we've dug out the all the places we want to dig, we can reassign some of our diggers. Uh, let's do... This one loves medicine, so we'll do that. Wow. Morale will need 12. Yeah, a lot of dupes were not trained up properly. <laughs> okay, that should be good there. More strength. I'm kind of doing this at random. Uh, more ranching. Okay, that's probably good. Actually, Mokun, you could do some more stuff here. Okay, I'm trying to keep everyone within around 20-ish. That's probably good. Okay, everyone's around 20. So we'll need a pump in here. I might want to clear this out a little bit here. But probably the easiest thing to do would just be put a pump here. Uh, here maybe and we'll have to filter it because there's a little bit of chlorine in here or we could seal this off and forget about the filter that's probably easier taking them a while what did I build this out of Lead. I think they have to go to the bottom of the map for lead. Okay, we got coal. Got to set our smart battery to 55, 50 ish percent, 50 percent, somewhere in there. Make the coal generator 8. I guess we can start building the wire too. Uh, iron this time. Now the natural gas comes out at 150 degrees. Oh, where did you come from? You don't belong there. Oh, sparked it up. Get him. Oh, everyone's going to run up here and then not run up here. We'll get him. Get him. Get him.
Okay, we're waiting for 999 kilograms of water in here at the bottom. And then maybe 400 on top? 500? So yeah, we'll get this hooked up. We're gonna need to build a very long pipe down to the base. Uh, and it's gonna be hot natural gas. So it should probably be insulated. Where do I wanna build it though? I gotta bring it all the way down here. That's a long way to go. Hmm. Until then though, could build a storage tank. And I think I'll do that. Gas reservoir. I think I'll, yeah, I'll store some right here. At least that way we're not, it's not, we're not wasting precious natural gas that could be building up. Yeah, we're gonna need a filter actually, because this hydrogen's gonna get in there. So let's plan that out. We're gonna do gas filter, maybe right here. Out of iron. I gotta stop using lead because it's not close by. Just do regular pipe to there, and then insulated to there. Natural gas will be the filtered output that's going to go down here. And we'll store it in a buffer tank. Everything else can just get dumped right there. High pressure vent in case it's high pressure in here. And then they just got to build it all. I have enough algae. We could put a proper floor here. I'll keep this abyss light because I might want it for keeping the temperatures even. This guy's not biting anyone. I think if we get close to his egg, he gets really angry. Wherever his egg is. <laughs> Okay, power. Power for the filter. We're gonna select natural gas. Now they're on the job. Get that liquid lock done. And we could build tanks kind of down here if we need more space. Okay, there we go. 999 and we'll wait for a couple more. This one we can get rid of. And that's probably enough. Yeah, we'll get... Oh, how much is there? 133. One more bottle. I might as well get another one of these ready here. That's lower priority. 200 kilograms. Okay, we should be good now. I'll leave this bottle opener here in case I want, I want it in the future. Probably not, but now we can safely go in here. Get the gas. Get the gas. 
up that power. And for more storage, we could actually dig out more area in here. I might actually do that. Let's do some ladders in here. This is not a high priority thing, but I'm gonna dig that out. Hopefully I don't fall down here and get trapped. I'll put some ladders here too. Dig this out. Just more storage space for the natural gas until we suck it out of there. Okay, I want to get this done because I want to wrap up this episode, so we're going to make that a 9. Unreachable build. Oh yes. <laughs> They can't get in. Pop eardrums. Oh, I'm sorry. You won't have to be in there long. Wet feet, pop eardrums. Oh my gosh. It's torture. It's the torture chamber. It's hot. It's high pressure. <laughs> Wet feet. Oh god. Oh no. <laughs> Your torture chamber will be done soon. Oh, and they can't breathe. All of the above. Okay, the gas. The spice must flow. Here we go. Good, good, good. Next episode, we'll build a very long pipe from here down to the power room. Or maybe I'll do a different power room that's closer. I don't know. I bet you we'll connect all our grids together, though. Oh, their ears. I should be growing reed fiber too. Yeah, we could do some power generation down here, maybe. I like to keep it all in one centralized location, usually, but... This pump might overheat 75 degrees. Yeah, that could be an issue later on. But, uh, hmm, yeah, for now it's okay. We can upgrade it to steel later. And they can't get over there, so we'll do that. But I'm going to wrap things up here, because we got all the projects on my list done, I think. Still got a bit of cleanup to do. Oh, I got to get rid of this bedroom. Um... Wow, we got puffs everywhere. Oh, there's pips right here we could have used. Let's check our rooms. That's all good. Okay. Gonna wrap it up here. Hope you enjoyed this episode. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you all next time.